This video, we are going to learn the Cayley Hamilton theorem and how to verify the Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, let me first state the theorem. It says that every square matrix satisfies its characteristic polynomial. This is the statement of Cayley Hamilton theorem. So now let us take one example and see how does this theorem works. So I will take a matrix A equal to one, two, three, four. And I will verify the Cayley Hamilton theorem. So this is what we want to verify. So to find the uh, characteristic polynomial, we know what we use is we write it as lambda square minus trace of the matrix lambda, trace of the matrix times lambda plus the determinant of the matrix and equate it to zero. This is called the characteristic equation. So this means lambda square minus trace which is addition of the diagonal numbers so it is 1 and 4 so it is 5 this minus sign is from the formula so here itself you have a minus sign trace is just 5 1 plus 4 5 and the determinant is 4 minus 3 into 2 which is 6 so it is minus 2 so determinant is how much determinant is minus 2 so this means the characteristic equation is characteristic equation is given by lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. So by Cayley Hamilton theorem, this matrix A satisfies I have written above matrix A satisfies the characteristic equation means instead of lambda if I put A I must get a zero matrix so this means A square minus 5A minus 2 times identity this is a matrix identity matrix is equal to the zero matrix so this is I means the identity matrix and this 0 is a 0 matrix. This is not a number 0, it is a 0 matrix. So this is what we want to verify. So we will take the left hand side. This we want to verify whether it is, co it, it is correct or not. So I will take the left hand side. The left hand side is A square minus 5a minus 2 times identity i is the identity matrix which is equal to <coughs> the matrix a is that i've taken here is 1 2 3 4 right you can see the matrix a 1 2 3 4 so we'll take that and it's square minus 5 times the matrix 1 2 3 4 minus 2 times identity identity matrix is 1 and 1 on the diagonal and 0 everywhere <coughs> now we will simplify this so once 1 2 3 4 square means 1 2 3 4 matrix multiplied by matrix 1 2 3 4 minus 5 I will multiply inside to every element so this is 5 into 1 5 into 2 is 10 5 into 3 is 15 5 into 4 is 20 minus this 2 also I will multiply to 1 inside 2 into 0 is 0 so this is 2 0 0 2 <clears throat> 
Now let us write this. What is this equal to? This is, now you know how to multiply two matrices. First row with the first column. So it is 1 into 1 plus 2 into 3. Means it is 1 plus 2 into 3 is 6. The first row with the second column now. First row and second column. 1 into 2 is 2 plus 2 into 4 is 8. I want to write this entry now. Second row, first column, 3 into 1 plus 4 into 3 is 12. And second row with the second column, so 3 into 2 is 6 plus 4 into 4 is 16 minus, this is as it is, 5, 10, 15, 20 minus 2, 0, 0, 2. And you'll check what is the subtraction now. So this is 7, then minus 5, minus 2, 7, minus 5, minus 2. That's the minus sign. The second entry is 10, minus 10, and minus 0. <coughs> the third entry is 15, minus 15 and minus 0 and last entry is 6 that is 22 minus 20 minus 2 so you'll see that all the four entries are exactly coming to be 0 which is nothing but the 0 matrix so what we have done is we started with the left hand side a square minus 5a minus 2i. This is the left hand side. And we have reached the right hand side, which is equal to the zero matrix. Once you get the zero matrix, it means that the Cayley Hamilton theorem is verified. So, this is how you should verify the Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, in general, I am saying that. If I take any matrix now, suppose I take 1, 2, 3, 7, 2, 1, and 3, 5, 0. And then I will write its characteristic equation. You know how to write the characteristic equation for a 3 by 3 matrix. This is done in the video of eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 3 by 3 matrix. You can refer that. So it will be lambda cube minus. So suppose I get some characteristic equation. Suppose I get a 3 lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. Suppose, okay, I'm just writing this without any justification. It's, it may not be correct also. Then by Cayley Hamilton theorem, what can I say? I can say that a cube minus 3 a square minus 5a plus 6i here you have to remember you have to insert an identity matrix this will always come out to be what this will come out to be the zero matrix so this is so i will start with the left hand side i will simplify the left hand side and i will get what i will get zero matrix once i get the zero matrix we will say that the Cayley hamilton theorem is verified <coughs>